Yo, it's Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah. Bitches. Uh, Sway in the morning, Shade 45. Freddie Fox is uh, joining us today as a, a, guest, a guest co host for this particular segment. Yep. Wall of Shame. But we like to put people. You know, on the wall of shame when they do things that are just ridiculous and shameful and have to be, you dog something up out the news, correct? Absolutely. And this has to be the most shameful thing in the world because their children are involved. There's a couple, Bethany Rosito and her fiance, Heath Campbell. Now, they made news actually back in 2008 when a supermarket refused to do something for them. That thing was decorated birthday cake. Why? Because the kid's name is Adolf Hitler. Whoa. Okay. It gets Damn. better. The they kid's have name is Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. <laughs> they named their kid Adolf Hitler? Seven years old. It gets better. Joycelyn Aryan Nation Campbell. That's the six year old. <laughs> Hoslyn Janine Campbell. That's the five year old. And they have a 19 month old named Hans Henrich. They were all taken away by the state. P.S. Okay. okay? <laughs> the woman is pregnant now. She can't wait to find out what this, the, what the gender will be because if it's a female, she's going to name the child Eva Braun. Now, for those of you who don't know who Eva Braun was, she was Hitler's girlfriend and then <laughs> wife for 40 hours wow. before they committed suicide together. Nice. Now, this couple is against abortion because they don't believe in murder. Yet, they named their children after Adolf Hitler wow. and all the minions to follow. I think this is absolutely the most disgusting thing in the whole wide world. And they're waiting to just have more children covered in swastikas stickers oh. and having their Aryan Nation flags waving across the world. Yo, when parents inflict their philosophies on their kids and the kids inherit that ugly legacy, that deserves to be on the wall of shame. Absolutely. If they had a boy, would they name him Willie White Supremacist? No, they actually had a name for the boy. They want to name him Rommel, who was who had planned to overthrow Hitler and also kill himself. This is the strangest group of people ever. They live in my state uh -huh. of New Jersey, wow. which I hope they don't live anywhere near me. But this is what's going on with them. He has eight children by four different women. Fox, what do you think of that, man? Freddie Fox is here. Uh, you, you know. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of awkward, you know, to listen to this because, you know, it's, it's like saying, okay, it's okay. It, what if he said, my son name is Say Nigga in Private? <laughs> Say nigga in private. Yeah, because they got if if if, if, the, if they would have said it in private, they say nigga in private anyway. So he said, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna hide the fact I'm a racist. I'm just gonna put it out there." Now, if his kid get his ass whooped every time he go to school, is they call him, "Hey yo, hey, hey Adolf," and mm -hmm. then all the Jews jump on him and whoop his ass. Yeah, that's he's you know he's setting the path for his kids. So, yeah. You know that's that's the payback. Well, you know that's exactly why I feel like it's on the wall of shame because it's less about them and more about what they're putting on their children. Yeah. Why are you doing? This Aryan nation? It happens all the time. Parents set up set their kids up for failure. And in this case, <laughs> that's what these parents did. Yeah. If you know any cases Stupid of where parents shit. through names or any other uh, philosophy are setting their kids up for failure, citizens, call us with your stories. 888-742-3345. It's sway in the morning. Only on Shay 45.